counter box and punch combo. Got this counter punch and punch combo by feeding out a jab. When we feed out the jab, we're going to be taking small subtle steps in and out. So I step in, I pop the jab, I step out. I step in, I pop the jab, I step out. It's very important that your rear foot, look at my rear foot. It's always on my toes, it's elastic. It works as a spring. It can produce force and it can absorb force. Produce and absorb. That's very essential. So you're going to have to bear that in mind during this whole combination. I'm only feeding my opponent this jab with no intention of really landing. No intention of causing damage, but with intention of causing a reaction. Every action has a reaction. But I've got a plan. When they react, I'm setting them up for my next shots. So I'm stepping in with a jab, stepping out. Stepping in with a jab, waiting for them to try counter my shot. But I'm going to counter their counter. So I'm going to step in with a jab. Now when your opponent does decide to punch you, you're going to transfer the weight onto the back foot with a left hook. Bam! Just like that. I'm stepping in, stepping out. Stepping in, the opponent comes back towards me. I step back out and I throw a left hook. Now as I go on the back foot, I put the weight on my back leg. But as you're transferring the weight onto the back leg, you want to be turning your hips and shoulder at the same time with the hook. So I'm transferring the weight into my back leg, but I'm turning at the same time. I'm turning at the same time. Now, finally, when you end the combination, your back foot will be flat. You'll be on your toes, but when you transfer the weight over and turn, your lead foot will then be in your toes and your back foot will be flat.